So we're going to do some trig here again. Let's go fly a kite. And it's on a string. And that string is 200 feet long. We've got to be able to turn things into right triangles. All right, it's us down here in the corner. Let's say our string makes a 35 degree angle. It's a 200 foot string. We want to know how high this thing is, how tall it is, how much it goes up in the air vertical. So we're going to call that Y. Y is, y is off in the vertical axis. All right, so we have, we're standing at 35. We've got the, we want to know the opposite side, and we have the hypotenuse. So which formula involves opposite and hypotenuse? Well, that's sine. So sine of 35 degrees, that's just a number equals y over 200, opposite over hypotenuse. So how do you solve this? Well, y is, I want to get y by itself, so there's 200 divided there. So multiply both sides by 200. So I have 200 times sine 35 equals y. So now I need to put that in the calculator because it's just a bunch of numbers now. So trying to find the height of that kite and we had 200 sine 35 um, make sure your calculator is in degrees this is not this is in radians so click it make sure it says degrees awesome um, 200 times I'm gonna use parentheses the parentheses help make sure things happen the way I want them to happen and then sine 35 and it tells me how many parentheses I need to close this out All right. so this is going to be 200 times the sine of 35 which is what I wanted and the parentheses they're like making sure that sine does the 35 not sine of 200 so that's why I want to use parentheses and we click that 114.7 da, 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 da. does that make sense yes my hypotenuse was 200 so my side should be less than 200 and 114 sounds just as good as anything else. So that is how you punch it in the calculator. One way. Um, it didn't actually have to use parentheses because of how this calculator does things. It Look, I've put a parentheses right after the sign. So it wants to do whatever number I put next in as the sign. And I still got the 114. But you got to know which way your calculator does things. Some calculator wants the number and then sign. That's especially when you want to use parentheses. Also, when you're dividing, you want to make sure it divides by the sine of 35. For example, if I ever want to divide by sine of something, uh, let's just say 50 divided by. Now, this calculator is actually pretty good. It Wow. It's automatically, you know, going to do sine 35 together and put it in the bottom. This is a pretty good calculator. And if that were it, so. But if I wasn't sure what was going to happen, I would have done 50 divided by parentheses sine 35 to make sure the whole sine 35 got divided. But this calculator actually does that well, so it knows what it wants. But not all calculators are like that. There we go.